Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen the blades on this Cub Cadet lawnmower. It is an LT 42 inch XT1 and it was made around the year 2016. Check out my other video where I show you how to take the deck on and off. It is a little tricky, but this video I'm just going to show you how to um, sharpen the blades once the deck is off. So when you got the deck off, it's a good idea to clean the top of it off first. I like these spray nozzles that are have the really long wand. It keeps the it keeps you away from the area where you're blowing. Okay, so I've got the deck off. I like to set it up against the mower. You may want to put a rag so it doesn't scratch anything. But here's and this is a good time to clean the bottom of your deck. Okay, so it takes a 1516 socket. That's what size that nut is right there. Now there's two ways of doing this. There is the old fashioned, the ratchet way. You're gonna need a piece of block, a wood, put right there so that when the blade comes around, it's gonna hit that and stops. And then you put it on there and that's a nut. You're gonna need a lot of leverage. But what I have found is I like to use a impact gun. These things work really good. And they're coming down in price. You can get one of these now at Harbor Freight, I think pretty cheap. I definitely recommend getting one because they just make the job a lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to use the impact gun. You just put it on there and the impact part of it does the work. It's very nice. See how easy that is? There you go. Okay, so here we got the blade. I want to show you a trick. So if you don't have a vise at home, turn the blade around. Turn the blade around. I don't know if you can put it on there like that or not. But anyway, just tighten this nut down just a little bit. You can use this as a vise. So now I can get my angle grinder. I bought this brand new Black & Decker angle grinder. It's number three on Amazon's best selling. So say I'm going to use a vise. But say you don't have a vise. You can turn that blade around and you can, you can uh, sharpen that blade right there on the deck. Okay, and just turn it around, turn and do the other one. But I'm gonna use a, I just wanna show you that trick in case you don't have a vise. So again, just a word of caution. So this angle grinder is very powerful. Make sure you know what you're doing before you do this, but I am gonna show you how to use it. You do wanna use a face shield and goggles because little slivers of, of metal are gonna be coming off. So we can see this one is really, really dull. You're only gonna sharpen this angle right here. You're not gonna you're not gonna grind on the back side or anything. You're just gonna grind along here. And you have to have a grinding disc. It's kind of thicker and it's for metal. Make sure it says for metal. And you can take this to a grinding wheel. I've just found that this is so much easier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and forth at like a 45 degree angle until I get this all the way down. I'm gonna take some of those grooves out. But that should be nice and sharp. And I'm not going to want to touch it too bit, too much. It could cut myself. But just get that nice and straight. Don't overheat it. Nice and smooth. And I'll show you. Again, now this is very powerful. Make sure you wear hearing protection too. Um, so there we go. I got a lot more to go, but I just want to show you that's that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to keep going. It's okay if you go down a little. You know, you're going to take a little bit of metal away, but just go nice and smooth. It's going to be nice and even, and you should get a nice sharp edge. Again, we don't want to grind on this side. Leave that side alone. Just do a like a 45 degree angle on this side. Kind of mimic, kind of mimic the angle that's already there. And then you're just going to turn the blade over and you're going to sharpen this side. Turn it over and do this one. Okay, so I've got my blade sharpened. Before I put them on, screw this on just to protect the threads a little bit. But it's, it's nice to have one of these um, putty knives. This is a thicker one. They make really thin ones that don't work very well, but this is a good time to kind of just scrape your deck. I mean, it may be really bad. 
This one's not too bad. But definitely get all the loose grass off. Because what that can do is that can cause rust. You leave that grass on there, it's gonna rust your deck. Okay, another little trick I like is this anti-seize. So this stuff gets everywhere, but you don't need very much, just a little dab. I mean, you may not have this and you don't, it's not necessary. It just helps for in the future. Put just a little bit on the threads, just a little bit. That will help in the future because these things can become a booger to get off. Okay, so now we're ready to put the blades back on. So again, so the, the side that you sharpen goes towards the deck. So that flat side goes on the bottom. So that part, that angled part goes towards the deck. And that part that we didn't sharpen goes on the bottom. These are just normal threads. They turn, they're not reverse threads or anything. But they do have these splines. I, never, I haven't seen that splines, but it's pretty nice. So again, this is where the uh, impact gun just comes in really, really handy. Now you can over tighten them with an impact gun, but I'll try to show you. Yeah, that's, that's tight. Yeah, you don't want to keep going and going and going, just kind of hit it, hit it, hit it. And that's good. So now this deck is ready to be reinstalled. Check out my other video where I show you how to take the deck on and off. This video was just simply on how to sharpen the blades.